A Big Island diver strikes a deal in an underwater attack. Good evening, I'm Yanji Denise. And I'm Kenny Choi. No jail time for the diver involved in what's been called reef beef. KITV4's Brenton Wah is here with more in tonight's top story. Brenton? Yeah, Kenny, this is a story that had a lot of people in the diving community talking last year. The attack happened in the waters near Waikoloa. And let's get right to the video to refresh our memories. This underwater attack was caught on tape back in May. The victim here is on the left side of your screen. That's Renee Umberger. On the right side is Jay Lavelle. He was catching aquarium fish. She was taking video of him because she's against the practice. That's when Lavelle did this, ripping out her regulator, leaving her with no air to breathe. Lavelle was charged with terroristic threatening. Nine months later, the two were in court, and they reached a deal. Lavelle will not have to go to prison. Jay's punished functionally for whatever wrong he did, and he's not overpunished. It's not overkill based on something he didn't do or was accused of or something that was made up, which was really what our fear was going into this case. With the deal, Lavelle would just need to stay out of trouble for a year and get an anger management assessment. After court, Umberger said that she's satisfied with the agreement and thinks this event will help end the aquarium fish collecting practice in Hawaii. There's uh, overwhelming uh, support uh, from residents statewide uh, for keeping uh, the fish here on our reefs instead of shipping them off to the mainland. So I predict it's only a matter of time. Lavelle's lawyer told us that if this did go to trial, it would have been Umberger who would have been seen at fault because he says she was the one who drew the foul. They came to where Jay was. They were looking for somewhere to cause trouble. For now, it appears both sides will go their separate ways. Umberger will keep fighting to end the practice. Lavelle and his brother just want to be left alone. It's getting to a point, obviously, that is the altercation that happened out there uh, escalating to a point that if, if this harassment continues, someone could get hurt, and no one wants that. To see more of the original underwater video and the stories that led up to this court case, you can go to KITV.com and the KITV mobile app. Back to you.